Hi, today I'm going to do more of an editorial look and this is a look that I did about four months ago for this month's Italian Vogue and I was inspired by sort of mid-70s David Bowie for the makeup, so that kind of sculpted pink blush. I think it's been called draping now, which is crazy because it's kind of, for me, it's just mid to late 70s style of blush. So it's this kind of sculpting effect with pinks and kind of bright reds and oranges, which was really popular at the time. Um, I'm going to also, it was also combined in the editorial with bleached brows, but obviously I'm going to do more of a wearable version of that. And very, very clumpy eyelashes, which I'm going to show you how to do. And again, this is an editorial look, so please just take from it what you will. It won't, the whole look won't be for everyone, obviously, I understand that it is from a magazine, but it's fun and there might be elements that you love, like the lips or you might just like to do a toned down version of the blush or a toned down version of the lash, or you might love the look as it is, so just take from what you will. I have a beautiful model today who's uh, from Finland, her name is Aldona. So I'm going to start with base, I'm going to use Healthy Mix by Bourgeois, this is number 51 which is quite a light shade, but it has a, a quite creamy yellow base to it, so it's a really good shade. So here I'm just applying a mixture of this concealer by Revlon and the lighter shade from this Laura Mercier palette, just to get the right consistency. I'm just going to lighten up this area underneath the eyes. Not that it's dark, but we want it kind of extra, sort of almost highlighted. And then a little bit more concealer on the nose, centre of the face really. Chin area and forehead. Just on all those high planes. So I'm just doing some pinpoint concealing. It's really getting that flawless vibe because there's going to be so much pink blush going on you need to get rid of all of these little disguise any little bits of redness or any blemishes or anything like that and then I'm going to do all of the highlighting and blusher with powder so I'm going to need to do a light layer of powder all over the face I'm going to do it with a puff because I've done quite a lot of concealing so I'm going to need to be almost pushing that into the skin. So we're going to create quite a matte finish here. Just rolling it onto the, onto the face. And then I'm dusting over the top a little bit of MAC Prep and Prime powder all over just to give that slightly ethereal look and it's also making Aldona's skin a little bit, tiny bit lighter. This brush is so soft. Yeah, this is the famous kitten paw brush, like a little kitten's paw, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> it puts all my clients to sleep. Everyone starts to relax. Yeah, right? I'm so relaxed. <laughs> so while I've got this bit of powder on the brush, I'm going to dip into blush. This is Angelica by NARS, so it's quite a shimmery pink. And I'm just going to dust over the eyelids and start to come around the cheeks. So I'm going to put a light wash to start with in this area. And this brush is good because it, with pigmented colours it doesn't pick up too much so you're able to build really slowly. Then with a slightly smaller brush using the same colour, also mixed with a tiny bit of powder. Just look up for me. I'm just going to brush a little bit of that pink underneath. You have to keep the shade the right colour for your skin tone. So if you go too red or too kind of strong with the pink, of course it starts to just look like you've got really bad sunburn. <laughs> now I'm just going to add something slightly peachier which is this Sigma colour into this kind of whole area and it's just all about getting the diffusion of colour. Now I'm going to use a little bit more sculpty brush 
And I'm going to use this just around the sides. I'm using a slightly more pigmented blush now. It's this one, this pink from this duo. And then blend that in again with the peachy tone. And I can always add a little bit of powder if you want to diffuse anything. Okay, so going back to my big brush again. I'm just going to put a little bit more of that stronger colour just here so we diffuse that line out. So just get all the pinks that you have, <laughs> every pink blush that you have, and you can just gradiate them and play with them. It's a bit like watercolours. One kind of melts into the other and as you kind of build up the colours so I'm just going back in with Angelica, the original colour, which is very shimmery, and just adding a little bit more onto the eyelids. Now I'm going to go in with this colour, which is a very shimmery, golden, loose powder, just close for me, onto the eyes. So this is just giving it that, starting to get the depth in there. So I'll give it a really nice kind of three-dimensional shimmer. Now I'm going to use one of the iridescent highlighting powders, this is a slightly pinky tone, and start to work that onto the high point of the cheek, so really starting to buff and blend this in. I'm also going to use that at the inner corner of the eyes, if you look up for me, here, just coming round underneath got a really nice highlight there at the inner corner. And blend. So onto mascara, I'm just going to do some lash curling. Look down for me. So for mascara, I'm going to put a base on first as an, a lash primer. Look up for me. I'm going to do lower lashes to start with. I'm going to put plenty of this on. Because the lashes, I mean, it is kind of a, a trend at the moment to have these really overloaded lashes. I know it's not for everyone, so you can choose your level of comfort. If you just want to put plenty of mascara on normally, then just go ahead. But for this look, I actually really piled on the mascara. So just working that primer. And primers are good because they're sort of very waxy so they coat and bulk up the lashes. And they're also good if you are going for that look where they look like they're almost kind of pinched together. They're good because they sort of join up a few lashes at a time. And if you haven't got many lashes naturally then you can still do this and then you can cheat by adding some individuals as well afterwards. I'll show you how to do that. So we've got a layer all over, and you can see it's starting to dry here, so it's becoming less white. Look up for me. And then you can put a second coat on, which really gives it that, sort of really pumps out those lashes a lot. You can see how thick they're looking now. This is actually just a cool look in itself, the white lashes. So now I'm going to work the black in over the top, and just really massaging at the roots. And coming out. And then if you get any little blobs, just use a Q-tip and just remove them as you go along. Right into the roots of the lashes. And then as you get towards the end, if you just kind of push the wand in, you can get a couple of them to mesh together or you can just use fingers and kind of pinch pinch them together to give them that that overloaded look this is if you don't have a lot of lashes naturally then you don't want to be doing the pinch together look so you want to keep them more separated and you can always use a brush um, just to go through those ends just a little mascara brush, you know, to separate the ends. But if you have nice thick lashes, then just keep working it in. So now I'm going in with a tiny brush, and this has some of the mascara on it. And I'm just working it in at the roots of the lashes. 
kind of creates a line but it's not a strong line it's more of a kind of making those lash roots look a bit thicker if you've got lots of lashes and you really want to kind of clump them up a little bit more you can dip into some eyelash glue and then just pinch in black eyelash glue and this will kind of give you that very clumpy look alternatively if you don't have a lot of lashes then you can put some individuals in and just get your mascara brush and kind of laden them with mascara before you glue them on so they'll look kind of similar I'll put a couple on just so you can see and then you can stick those on kind of in any gaps that you have. I'm just going to add a lash now this is already really coated in black mascara and just drop one onto a little gap and just put as many of these on as you want. So for the shoot I bleached the model's eyebrows but we've got we're not doing that today so I'm just going to brush a little bit of colour through. I don't want them dark but they're kind of halfway in between at the moment so I would either bleach them or let's make this a little bit more wearable. So I'm going to go through with a very light dusting of an ashy brown powder just to define. And this is the perfect colour for Aldona because it's not too, it hasn't got any red in it but it's not too ashy. It's just right. So now I'm going to use some Mary Luminizer highlighter. This is just for a stronger effect, so just on the centre of nose, upper lip, and add a little bit of this just there onto the absolute high point of the cheekbone. And then just buff that in. A little tiny bit as well at the inner corner. Okay, so on to lips, I'm going to use this really beautiful crayon which is soft pink with some gold shimmer in it, so it fits in perfectly with this look. So I'm going to use that all over. It's like a balm as well, so it's really hydrating. And then use a pencil around those edges. Smile a bit more, that's great. just to finish off those edges and a bit more colour. And then finishing touches, if you want to add a little bit more highlighter anywhere and blush, I mean you can go obviously as kind of avant-garde as you want, you could add just more and more or if you wanted to at this point tone it down once the lips are done, it's really entirely up to you, it's all about getting the balance in the face. And then because on the editorial I kept the skin quite dewy and I didn't actually use as much, many powder products, but I mean they are easier to blend, so I recommend if you're not used to using this, this much pink to use powder because it's just easier. Um, but I'm going to use a hydrating spray just all over the skin. And this, will, this is great if you've used sort of powder because it just gives that freshness back. So I'll donate you're all finished. What do you have a look at the look? What do you think? I love it. I love the pink color. It's so crazy. I love crazy <laughs> stuff. I love weird things. So this is so me. You like crazy pink. Yeah, I love everything crazy. I could now just walk from there to the London and just walk oh, on really? the street like that. You're going to go and get on the tube like that. Yeah, <laughs> Fantastic. I, I could do that.